Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 6 of Let's Play Kirby's Epic Yarn. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Was Kirby doing skip rope with his own body? That is morbid to think about. Like, what part of himself did he use? Alright, so here's Treatland over here. Okay, looks like the uh, stages are pretty much stacked like towers. I don't know why. Let's go to Toy Tracks. This should be fun. For some reason, this kind of stage reminds me of Paper Mario. I still can't get over that Let's Play of Paper Mario that I did in, what, 2012? That was probably one of my favorite Let's Plays to do. Okay. Here, you can pretty much just drag the cars. That's actually pretty cool. It's like Kirby's a bit of a... You know, a tow truck or a tow tank. Hold on. Did I need to use that block for something? Let me go back. Because they should come back right now. Let me go ride this. Okay, looks like I gotta get up there. That should give me more beads. Awesome. No block for you. Huh. I'll just use the waddle do instead. Oop. Wow. These guys got some really strong arms. Stuffed bear. This guard bear lost his post when he was caught napping on the job. Serves him right. Guess. Oh, hang on, I, I want to get that. Boom. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. See, that duck agrees. Uh, okay, I see what I gotta do. Oh, that should just keep me safe in case I can't get it through in time. Get out of here, you jerk. Ooh, plenty of beads over here. Um, uh, what's over this way? That patch reminds me of Yoshi's Cookie. I remember Yoshi's Cookie. Ooh, okay. I think I had the Game Boy version? Either that, or I borrowed it. I can't go through the door unless somebody's out of the way. That was a little dangerous. What is this thing supposed to be? I don't know. Whatever it is, it needs to die. Alright, where are you going to? The, uh, hats on these, uh, soldiers kind of look like, I don't know, the soles of shoes. And we got a tin robot. This tin robot is a very expensive vintage item sought by collectors. And I took it out of the, uh, packaging. That means I'm horrible. Okay, I see what I gotta do. Try not to get stomped, obviously. Anything with that? No. And I fell off like a jackass. Alright, where's the CD to? Is it this way? That would be a bit easy. So, of course, it's not there. How much is left to this stage? I don't even have bronze yet. This is starting to weird me out a little bit. Then I'm almost at the end, and I don't even have the, um, the bronze medal. This guy's gonna crack his neck doing this! 
Wow! See the way it was going? Hold on. Let me go back to the left. So I think there was something over there. Yeah, there's this. How do I get there? Can I walk through that? I can! Aha! That was actually a neat secret. Uh, what happens if I smash that block, too? I'm curious. Good thing I was paying attention to where the secrets were, to some degree. Oh, there's nothing. Alright. Cool. That was a bit of a waste of time, then. Only a bit, not fully. Got some benefit out of it, I guess. Good to know the duck was still there. Hi. Die. <laughs> Jeez. Whoa, okay. Should I get up there? Like, up and to the left, perhaps? Oh, okay. You're not gonna cooperate with me, I guess. Nothing over there on that side. Okay. I see what I gotta do. If I go over here, I can get a bunch of beads. Is that a hidden wall? No. Try my best not to get crushed. Thank you. Much appreciated. I can get this now. Hard to keep track of everything when you gotta deal with these damn robots. Aw. Can you put it up, please? Thank you. Oh, I thought that was like a door. Turns out it was just that guy's hat. Whoops, did I mean to do that? Yeah, I gotta be near the end of the stage. Kinda hope I'm not, because I'm still, what, missing an item. Whoa, okay. That was a nasty surprise attack. Why is this guy crying? What can I do to cheer you up? Can I get up there? I feel like I should be able to. Yeah, looks like there's something up here. Maybe I gotta deal with that if I go this way. Okay, I gotcha. Oh, he was just sad because he had a boo-boo on his foot. And I had to go patch it up. Aren't I such a nice curb? Oh, I'm a train this time. Oh, I remember this one. Okay, B allows you to turn around. A allows you to create tracks. Like so... Is there anything over there? Why is that there? Oh, I guess there was nothing there. And you go the same speed each time. Oh god, the way it just jitters like that? Because of the sensor bar being not completely straight? It does this? Oh, oh, that, that looks ugly. Oh, oh, oh god. This is not going to be a smooth ride at all. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is messed up. I have to change how I'm sitting now. Look at this. Okay, speed bursts allow you to break through blocks. And I would imagine you'd have to do that at some point. 
At least the speed burst. Uh oh. At least the speed burst come back. No. Go this way. Go on the jagged track of death. Oh man. If you were in road construction and you design a road like this, you would not be fired. You will be put to death in Canada. And we abolished the death penalty how many years ago? <laughs> this is oh this is so dumb. God. This is worse than the time me and Colin on 112 were playing this game and the train was going upside down. This is way worse. Okay, I have another car for this thing now. But at what cost? Oh my god. What is this? It looks like I'm doing something completely inappropriate. If you're on that kind of train, you would just have a broken neck. Just get whiplash and everything. It'd be ridiculous. Yeah, my sensor bar is kind of diagonal to like where I'm sitting now. So I gotta fix that for like later episodes because that is just too awkward. I got the hammer patch. Good, because watching me on that train... Oh, it was leaving me quite hammered and I didn't even drink. Nice, what did I create? Mushroom run! I feel like I remember this stage being a bit tricky to get everything. Maybe it's not this one. But it's definitely a stage where there was like shrubs or maybe trees. Maybe this is the one. Mushrooms make you bounce, by the way. Hi. Like, you can't make yourself bounce higher, so you're gonna be at, like, at the same height each time. So you don't have to time it, which is pretty good. Just bounce at your own leisure. Whee! Okay, I think I need to grab that. I can go this way. You know what, I'll do that. Okay, if you ground pound on the orange mushrooms, you'll go much higher. Which is pretty cool. Get a nice bit of height. Oh, those things come back. What if I go this way? Is there anything to the left? No. Okay. Oh! Uh, get off! Releasing spores at me? I don't appreciate that. I need to see. That's how it works. I can't play Kirby in Braille. <laughs> oh god. What is wrong with me? Hold on. Whee! Oh, hang on. Oh, I see what I gotta do. I gotta break that somehow. Hi. That's a neat design. Um, can I jump this way? Yes. Boom. Mushroom bed. This bed is made of springy mushrooms that make for bouncy naps. Oh man, good luck trying to sleep with that. 
It's like, sir, I can't come into work today. I'm too tired. All I did was bounce. <laughs> that would not be very comfortable. Hmm. Okay. It's going really well so far. Oh, some of these mushrooms are upside down. And they just swing all the time. Whoop! Oh, nice. Get out of here. Hmm. So far, so good. I don't think I missed anything. And I like to keep it that way. Wants me to go that way? You know what? I'm a rebel. I'll go that way instead. Mushroom lamp. This novelty light looks like a big mushroom. Maybe it'll grow on its own. Maybe it'll give you spores that you can breathe in and you'll slowly die. I don't know. Wanna try it? <laughs> Get out of here, nobody likes you. Oh, there's blue mushrooms you can jump on. I bet they'll make you go really high up. Oh, that's just in case you want to go back. How thoughtful of the game to make you think you might want to backtrack. Okay, they just bounce you diagonally. Or is that at a certain angle? Okay, so if you ground pound, it's definitely at a slant. Hi. That's actually pretty cool. Hmm, anything in this tree? Other than beads? We. Oui. Hang on. I think I see the treasure. I think I can grab this guy. Uh, maybe I gotta go up higher. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Oh, did this work? Oh, no! Maybe this will work just fine. Probably not, but eh. Yeah, I think the mushroom, I mean the snail would be better. Look at him, he's having a good time too. There. Yeah, because he goes through all the blocks. Yay, we got the mushroom run CD. <laughs> Songs about shrooms all day, every day. You probably won't hear him at 10 a.m., that is. Although, to be fair, I still remember that one time that I didn't hear it, but one of the songs was, like, playing a Nelly song at 10 in the morning. One of the radio stations was playing a Nelly song at 10 in the morning. And they forgot to, uh, play the clean version. Imagine hearing the N-word at 10.30 in the morning while you're on the radio, listening to the radio. That must have been an awkward time. It's like, ooh, let's listen to Hits FM. Oh, you want to know what this word means? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure that N word was not Nintendo. <sighs> A lot of people are probably looking up Nelly Limic, ly Limics, Lyrics, <laughs> and thinking, did he ever say Nintendo in at least one of his songs? I'm pretty sure he did not. Oh, I didn't get the, uh, certain, uh, segment of the wheel. That's a shame. But there. We got another level. And I think this one has something to do with candy. Or cake. Kirby likes cake. A little too much. Kirby then just eats the patch. <laughs> Hi. 
Here. I'm gonna look right and throw left. It's just like a no-look pass. That cake could be better. Sweets Park. Alright, so before I end the episode, why don't I uh, do another minigame? Haven't done one of those in a while. Well, actually we have! Like, as recent as the last episode. But we haven't done one of this guy's, or this girl's, bonus stages in a while. What is the point of getting you a chair if you're not even gonna sit on it? Like, do you even have a butt? Why am I decorating this much for you? You want 200 bees in 30 seconds? Oh, uh, that's a small amount of time. Wait, is this the race course? Only thing is I'm not a car now. Other than what I make myself out to be. Oh god, they don't give you much time. Was I supposed to kill that guy? I think I was. Oh. Oh no! You are a failure at everything. Yes, I'll try again. Jeez, that was like a big ramp up in difficulty from the previous one. You don't even get to transform. Yeah, I think I was supposed to kill that jabroni. Yeah, it's this guy. Look, he's like pretty much a bag, too. That would explain it. There, that's better. Uh, do I want to do one more? I mean, I might as well. You got another bead collecting stage? Awesome. I will go there right now. I remember when I first played this game and I would just try to do as many of these stages as I can as soon as I could. But after a while I got bored with them. Because I did them too much. Big Bean Vine. 200 beads in one minute. Alright, well they gave me double time. At least. Okay, I see a do with arrows I gotta be careful with. I suppose getting rid of you will help. Is he asleep? What a lazy ass. Whoa, careful. This could give you plenty of beats up to here. I like how uh, Beatrix just follows you the whole time, just to make sure that you don't slack off. <laughs> there. Now you have no friends. Oh, looks like that's all the, um, the bead stages for a while. Fire! Yay, I got grassland fabric. As if I'll even care. Alright, I'm going to stop here, and in the next episode, we'll go to the uh, level that we just unlocked. See ya, everybody.